we're gonna organize this mess here today. everyone it's natalie also known as nitty natty and we are standing here today in my closet which is kind of strange for a knitting video but that's because we are about to tackle this huge pile of mess here behind me so when i was cleaning out my closet a few weeks ago i realized that i had just been dumping dirty hand knit socks uh i guess other things that i had worn like hand knits that it needed to be hand washing, you know, with a little extra care. And now it's mid-July and I haven't gone through any of my winter clothing items and properly cleaned them. Now, to be honest, I don't really have to like put away my winter clothes because we have a pretty big closet. So I've never thought that that was a necessity, but I'm starting to realize that it's kind of nice to like wash things, put them away for a season so that you don't have just clothes everywhere. So that's what we're gonna do with my hand knits here today. I'm also gonna be like sorting them, probably getting rid of some, washing tons of socks, washing lots of sweaters, maybe trying a few things on and showing them to you. I'll do my best to remember what I've knit, but nearly everything is gonna have a Ravelry project page. So I'll just link my whole like list of projects down below and, or I guess the link that goes to all my projects on Ravelry. So if you wanna search through, you can try to find something. So this will be a real test to my memory, but I thought it would be fun to come along with me, sort of like a, a blog, a vlog. I don't know. What are words? Um, anyway, so let's start by sorting everything out and then we will get to washing. Here I'm just sorting items into categories like shawls, garments, and socks. I had so many socks that I've never even worn. So I wanted to keep them separate from the dirty ones. How many pairs of socks do you think that I have here in this basket? Take a guess and I will reveal it at the end. And if you wanna let me know how many pairs of socks you have right now, let me know in the comments. All right, I decided to do socks first because I feel like that's gonna be the easiest. It's not really a hard decision of what to keep or not. I found one pair of socks that I've never really liked because they're very itchy, so I'm not gonna keep those. And then I found a sock that I don't have a pair to, plus they were starting to like felt, so also not gonna keep. So let's go through this little pile here. Any that are worth mentioning, I will stop and chat about for a minute that. Bobbles and beezors. These were fun. I like those. Yarn hoarder socks. I love this colorway from Mustache. I think it's Kama Sutra. Oh, these were the monkey socks. If you've been knitting socks for, I don't know, 10 years or so, you might remember Cookie A. And those are the monkey socks. These are my Scraptastic Lux. Lolo did it. This is a Jinx yarn, I think. It's a Harry Potter colorway, the house cup. It's pilling really, really bad. So I must have loved, worn these socks and loved them a lot. I think that I kept these in my bedside drawer this past like winter and wore them at night to sleep. Arne and Carlos yarn, I just finished these in this past winter. I love these, they're so fun. Malia, Disney Princess Parade. Also Lolo did it. 
This is a custom Dallas Stars colorway. Love those. More mustache. Not so sure on these. I like the color. I remember it was called like donuts or something, but it's a much, much thicker yarn. So I'm gonna wash them, but we'll keep an eye out this winter. Love these. They were a gift from my friend. I did not knit these. I remember the pattern. It's called Obliviate. These are a lot of fun. Okay, that's all my dirty socks. So I guess those are the socks that I wore this past year. And then I have this box of socks that have never been worn. So some of them, it's because they're like a design. So this is my fall means football. You can't really see it in that color. You can see it in this one. They're little footballs. So I have never worn those, but there's no reason that I can't wear them now, but they don't need to be washed. And then I did finish these sometime this year. Oh, I don't really like these socks, but this is my first pair of socks. So these are the very first pair I ever made. Somehow, that's like hair stuck to them. Um, somehow they ended up being like matching just about to the very end without any, like I didn't, do that on purpose I didn't even know how or to look for that but they somehow ended up being matching so my very first socks I'm sure they're too big maybe I can try them on real fast oh <laughs> I guess they're not too big they're just a little a little big also have my upsets and downfall socks these Christmas socks I actually dyed this yarn these are my Scraptastic socks. I love the colors in these. Oh, here's the sock that I thought was missing. I think I'm gonna get rid of these because they have felted, like literally this is made almost like a pad. It's so thick. I made these a really long time ago. I remember knitting them. I did like a folded hem, but I think it's kind of time for these to go. I really don't ever wear them because I don't remember what the blend was, but they're not right for socks. Like there's not enough nylon. But anyway, pretty cute, right? I think I named them Strawberry Shortcakes if you wanna look that up. Sock week from last year, never worn. Definitely need to wear these soon. Well, not soon because it's way too hot here in Texas, but go check out this year's Sock Week 2020. I'm so excited. Love these. I love this color. This is another Lolo did it. And then these, so pretty in pink. So nine pairs of socks that I have not even worn. <laughs> I just like making socks. Sometimes I give them to people, sometimes, oops, I just add them to my sock collection. So I'm in my laundry room now and I am going to attempt to wash my socks in the machine. I don't have a soak cycle, at least that I can find, but I can just turn on the water and then I can do a rinse and spin or a spin. So that's what I'm gonna try. It's probably just the socks that I'm gonna do this with. Everything else will get hand washed like in a bucket or sink or maybe my bathtub. I need to clean out some glitter that's in it because I did like a glitter bath bomb. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna give it a try. And for socks, it's like a risk, but not as big of a risk as a sweater. So let's see what happens. For some reason, I could not get the washing machine to fill, so we went with the old-fashioned method of a tub and a sink. Now, I made sure to sort all of my socks into lighter colored socks and then darker and richer colored socks. Whenever I first finish an item, I always, always wash it alone because I expect some dye to run out of the yarn. But after the first wash, my knits are usually okay to wash together as long as they are with like colors. So the socks are washing, they're soaking. Now I need to go to this other stuff, decide if there's anything that not really filling and I want to donate. And then with the rest of it, I'm gonna wash it so that it is ready for the next season. But first, I think we should have a little fashion show. You can't. 
So I really surprised myself today with what I was willing to part with. I only thought there would be maybe one or two things that I was ready to get rid of because I just went through this stuff like two weeks ago. But honestly, there was a lot of pieces that when I tried them on, I was like, I'm just not excited about this anymore. And that is 100% okay. If you ever want to get rid of hand knits, don't feel guilty about it. Some of them are going to go to some friends. I'm going to see if they're interested in them. Um, one thing I'm getting rid of, I think my mom would really like, so I'm actually going to give it to her maybe for her birthday or Christmas. Um, I have i don't feel guilty about that, even though I've worn it because it's my mom. <laughs> um, and then now I need to get this stuff washed. There's a couple things like that I just finished so I know it doesn't need to be washed. There's a couple things like that but everything else I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it as fast as I can because it does take a while. I think I might lay some towels in my backyard. I think that things will dry really fast out there but just to warn you if you ever dry things in the sun do not leave it longer for like than like maybe 30 minutes honestly because I've left stuff out in the sun and it's gotten bleached by the sun before so be very careful so yeah so we're gonna go check on those socks get them out on a drying rack and then we are gonna start washing some of this stuff even though i use a rinse free soap i usually still rinse out my items just a little bit then i squeeze out as much water as possible before using a towel to get the rest of the water out don't skip the towel step or you will be waiting twice as long for an item to dry. I've put everything else into this laundry basket here and I have so much stuff to hand wash. Yeah, I should have done this a long, long time ago, like in March when it started getting hot, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do it as much as I can. I have a tub, I have two sides of the sink. I can just wash what I can together. So that's what I'm gonna do next here is sort out what I think can actually wash together because some materials can't, I'm sorry, some colors can't go together. And then some fibers like mohair, I don't necessarily want them to go together. Some things are a little more worn, like my favorite cardigans, they probably need to wash alone because they're dirtier. So I'm just gonna sort that out here and then we're gonna get to washing. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down. And it's not a lie. Okay, here are the piles. I think I have seven or maybe eight. And I might try to, I have two bathtubs, so might as well throw some stuff into the bathtubs, into the sinks. Let's see how much of this we can get going. And you can tell me how I feel Put out all of the fire If it gets too dark oh, oh, I'll be your light I let everything soak for about 30 minutes before removing it from its tub. I had to do this, I think, three times through to get all of my hand knits washed. Luckily, by this time of day, our tiny backyard was not in direct sunlight, so I didn't feel as worried about my hand knits getting ruined by the sun. Put out all of the fire 
If it gets too dark, I'll be your light. How on earth do people do all of their laundry back in the day? This is work, y'all. Maybe I made a mistake doing it all at once, but at least it's gonna be done. Now I'm getting sweaty. I've used up almost all of my soap. I had three half, like more than halfway empty bottles. So I have one left and I've used all of my towels, all of the guest towels. So, yep, we are almost done. I left everything outside for about two hours in the shade before bringing them in where they continued to dry for 24 hours. So it is the next day and after having everything drying outside for just a little bit, I brought it inside. Most of it's here. The socks and some other shawls are on our guest bed upstairs. So everything is pretty much dry. I did have the fan on all night, um, but now I just need to fold it up and then go put it away. So that's what I need to figure out next. I'd like to put everything in a dresser instead of like the pink stand that I had it on, I think. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we're gonna figure that out here after I get all these folded and confirm that they're dry. I think the cotton ones are having taking a little longer, so they might have to stay for a minute, but let's get it put away. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. Everything is now clean and put away. I have my scarves in a dresser in our bedroom, kind of temporarily. I have all of my garments in the dresser in my closet. And then I decided to put socks here. I tried to rainbow them, but I don't know. And if you're curious, I have 28 pairs of socks currently. So that's a lot of socks. I don't think I really need that many, but anyway, I'm gonna keep them while I have them. I love making socks. so. I hope this was, this was a fun video for you to see kind of the process of washing, where I sometimes store things, and just a tour through my sock drawer. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!